Hey, what's going on guys? We just got a box and today we have the RMC Yuji Sakai Best Work Selection Godzilla 2004 Poster Version EX. Uh, I guess you would consider this a statue. And it arrived today by DHL and they were kind enough to ring the doorbell, which I greatly appreciate. So let's let's get it started. Well, it appears that the box suffered a few little dings here and there, so I am concerned about... Oh, what is that puncture there? I'm concerned that there's some damage, but it is double boxed, so... All right, let's keep going. All right, the, the inner box looks great. Great condition. That artwork in front is fantastic. Love it. All right, let's keep going. Okay, RMC means Real Masters Collection. Yeah, I, re I remember in my previous video, I did not, I didn't, I did not know what RMC meant. So I figured it out later, though. Let's check out that artwork. Looks good, guys. All right, that's all four sides. Here, here's here's what's on top. They got some, looks like some instructions how to put it together. Well, that was nice of them, that they put these little handles on top, so I was able to pull that box out very easily. All right, I've cut the tape all around. So here is the moment of truth. Let's, let's see, how can I do this? Let's carefully do this here. All right. There's the base. All right, I went ahead and twisted the box around so you guys can get a better look. There's the base to the left. There's Godzilla 2004 there. Looks like we got a few little knickknacks in the middle there. And from my first view, it looks perfectly intact. No damage. So those folks that were worried about it being broken on arrival, at least for me, I looked out. Well, there he is, guys. I took that plastic off. Looks really nice. Good detail. All right, here he is out of the box. I'm sorry for the terrible picture quality. It's, it's just kind of dark in my room here, but he looks great. Soon I'll have him on his base, so just hang on a minute, guys. All right, I took the base out of the box. And to the right of the base here, there's a little piece to, that you add on. I guess this is this is a little bit delicate. They didn't want to put it on there. And dude, what is this? You know what? What am I holding? I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. There you go. I guess these are the top of the skyscrapers. So I, I got to add that as well. Let's get a little better look here. Check check that out, guys. Looks great. Got a nice little plaque, Volume 1, Godzilla 2004 poster version. There goes, there goes the instructions. So I am anxious to get this, get this put together. So let's, let's get that going right now. Well, before I get started, I went ahead and put one of the tops of the skyscraper, the, the antenna, I guess. So let's do the other one here. There it goes. There's these little grooves in there that you gotta line up so it goes in nice and flush. Looks awesome. All 
One more piece. There it goes. I almost forgot to take out the tail. There it goes. As usual on the bottom of the box. Cool. All right, here's the tail out of, out of the plastic. And it's got, seemed like a pretty easy attachment there. Just plop it in. All right, let's keep going. So at the bottom of the base here, that's where we put the batteries. And it looks pretty straightforward. All right, and getting the tail in was not a problem whatsoever. Okay, so Godzilla is on his base. And it looks great. I'm going to give you guys a 360 view. Yeah, so I noticed that on his tail and lower part of his body, there's a little bit of orange. So I'm not sure if that's just supposed to be a, a reflection of the lights or the fire. So far he's looking fantastic guys. Really nice detail. Those dorsal plates are crazy. Yeah, so if you, so if any of you guys have seen the '84 Sakai poster version, this guy would 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 be a really nice matching piece or a complementary piece with that. Now this 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 statue is smaller, probably a little bit smaller than the 25 centimeter, but with the base and everything, you know, it it takes up a pretty decent amount of space, so. I think that's fine. Let's get a little close up bef before we do the light up feature here. Sorry for the lighting, but I think you guys can get a, a pretty good idea that he looks well done. And you guys didn't have to worry that this guy was gonna come broken because with the styrofoam and everything and the double box, it was well protected. All right, I'm gonna have to say that this, this, this position here, kind of like looking from the rear, that's probably the best, the best, the best look with this figure. And I don't know who let the dogs out, but. I hear some barking. So anyways, um, yep, I'm gonna have to say the best view is from the back here. And I think it's time to turn on this baby. There we go, that's better lighting. Okay, let's hit that switch. Oh yeah, there it goes. There goes the water, you can see the city is a flame, it looks like. The dorsal plates are lit up. Let's try to give it a little turn. Yeah, there you go. A little hard to see in this room with the light on. Now let me take one without with it with it off. Alright, light off. Light on. Looks cool guys. Here he is with all his lights. And here he is with his lights on. 
but uh, once again a little bit hard to see in this room but a very nice a nice job by X plus and if you're a fan of this suit or the Yuji Sakai sculpts then I would say pick it up now if you're not into statues and stuff then I kind of understand if, you, if you're gonna pass but I took a chance and I got it and it's basically a work of art I think it looks fabulous guys there he is I think once again this is the best position in my opinion just like how the poster looks and let me just give you a little bit more close up to some of the detail nice curved tail so less chance to hit something with it You'll probably notice some bleed through through the dorsal plates. That's to be expected with X Plus. They don't they don't fill those all the little spots fully. But from a distance it looks it looks fine. Alright guys, well that's my super quick unboxing review of this awesome Yuji Yuji Sakai best work selection. Volume 1 Godzilla 2004 poster version. That is quite a mouth, mouthful there. So anyways, here we go guys. You guys, last look here. Last final looks of this guy. And I'm gonna call it a wrap. Alright guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for future unboxing or reviews. Have a great day. Thanks for watching again. Bye bye.